Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon. I'm in my car. I'm actually just leaving <coughs> Ooh, leaving for work. A little bit later today, I went to the new gym I'm trying out. A lot of you guys have commented and saying you like it, and I do like it too. There are some drawbacks to it though. And one of the things that's a drawback to me is the fact that the hours aren't as great as I am used to, meaning that it's only open from six to eight during the week. Now, typically I get up and train at five because I like to be at work by eight o'clock. So I usually train from like 5.30 to 6.30. I come home, I make myself breakfast, I shower, and then it's like a half an hour ride to work. So I get to work typically around 7.45 or eight o'clock. Now the fact that this gym doesn't open until six, that kind of pushes me back about an hour or so. Not to mention it's a little bit further away, not really too far away. It's probably like another five minutes down the road. But like today it's eight o'clock and I'm just heading to work now and I don't have to necessarily be there at any set time. One of the nice things about my job is the fact that a lot of times I get to set my own hours for the most part. But like you guys know, I work you know 45 to 50 hours a week at my normal corporate job, if you will, my office job. So it's one of those things I'm not sure is gonna really work out too well. Now, of course, I could go after work. However, I don't really like to train after work. I like to train first thing in the morning. I like to train on an empty stomach. It's just preferable for me to do so. So it's gonna be interesting to play around with. Um, today went all right, but I really didn't get to do too much. I literally just went in and did like eight or nine sets of deadlifts, which is funny only because it's the third time within a week that I've been doing deadlifts. I just really like the platforms, I like the rubber plates, so it's something that's fun. Uh, not to mention, I've mentioned already that I'm really busy the past two weeks, this week included, and probably even next week at my normal job. I've got a lot of people starting, a lot of trains to do where I'm literally on my feet talking and training for eight to nine hours a day in some cases. So the gym's kind of taking a back seat for now, so I'm really trying to condense some of these workouts. So I'm trying to do just the big compound movement. So squats and deadlifts and bench press, those kind of things. You guys saw the other day a total upper body hypertrophy routine. Well, that was actually done on a weekend, so I had a lot of time. It was first thing in the morning on Sunday. And ideally, I wouldn't want to work out on the weekends. I like the weekends to kind of be relaxing because I don't have my normal work. You know, I might do a YouTube video or something, but I don't really look at that necessarily as overly taxing on myself. So I like to relax on the weekends. So that's something to consider. Um, like I mentioned in some of my other videos, this week is like a free week for me in this gym. The price is the same as the gym I go to currently and there's there's pros and cons to both. One of the interesting things that I noticed today in, in the gym, the new gym, is the fact that they don't have any 35 pound plates. Nowhere. They don't have it anywhere in the gym. They have a bunch of fives, tens, 25s, 45s. You know, they have the standard um, metal weights, they have the rubberized weights, they have the bumper plates, but no 35 pounders anywhere. It's just really, really strange to me to see that. So that's a downside, not to mention to me, the actual machines that are there, although I don't base my routine off of a lot of machines, I don't really like the ones that they have. You know, those resistance ones where you have the plus and minus buttons and the LCD screens. I'm not really sure I'm sold on that. They also don't have things like a pec deck, which I really like. So it'll be interesting to see. I haven't really made up my mind. What I might do is I might just buy a month's membership there and kind of go to both. So we'll see how it plays. But I figured I'd give you guys this update. It's really shitty out. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's snow on the ground, which sucks because it's technically the last day of winter today. We got snow, so tomorrow starts spring. I'm really just ready for this nice weather. I need a tan. I'm really freaking pale. Add that on top of the fact that I'm cutting, I'm losing weight. My strength hasn't really dropped. I'm still making increases in some lifts. However, it's not as progressively fast as far as the strength gains go as it was when I had a surplus of calories. But again, that's to be expected, but add that onto the fact that I'm feeling really pale. I'm kind of at one of those in-between stages where I'm not really cut, not really bulked. It's just really frustrating sometimes, and this weather definitely doesn't help. The fact that it's snowing, which is now turning into rain, got to go to work, I'm busy at work. There's a lot of stuff going on that just kind of is getting me down, but you know, it's just one of those things. I'm used to it. You know, when you go through these things, you go through highs and lows, and it's a little bit of a low for me right now, but I'm gonna keep on pushing, keep on working, and hopefully keep on staying big. So, we'll talk to you guys soon, and take it easy.